Thank you, everybody, for uh, watching Marlow Bottom Acoustic Club live stream. Um, well, I'm glad to say we have a feature slot by Mark Ashworth later on. Uh, but before that, we have David Nallison Fenner going to do a couple of songs for us. Uh, thanks again. Over to you, David Nallison. Well, hello, Marlo, and uh, thank you, Alan. Nice to uh, be on your show. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for our opening number, we will do uh, this is called <laughs> Walk Beside Me. It has a chorus. Do please join in. Harmonies or whatever you like. I put one foot in front of the other Stepping into the here and now Not sure just where I'm going But I will get there anyhow I got this far with no direction Follow my nose to where I'm bound My heart is strong and I know I'll make it Sit right down in the promised land Sister come and walk beside me Till our pathways to divide Nothing much but love to give you Even when sad I die Me in the springtime, so many questions on my mind. Summer came and found me waiting, but not one answer could I find. When I see you up in the Rocky Mountains, I feel you up in the Great North Sea. It's a lonesome road I have to travel. You will always be with me. Brother, come and walk beside me. Now I hear laughter in the thunder, I feel comfort in the wind, I see hope in the hopeless faces, someday they will love again. People come and walk beside me Till our pathways to divine Nothing much but a word to give you Even less have I to hide People come and walk beside me Till our pathways to divine Beside me. Yeah. We're going to do one now by um, Christine Levin. Oh, Levin. She's Canadian, not sure how she pronounce it. But it's called Victim or Volunteer, and it's saying really that rubbish happens in your life, which it does, but uh, don't make it worse for yourself. In other words, don't invite it on yourself and be kind to yourself in the decisions that you make. So, uh, I mean, the chorus is, and do, do please join in. We're sort of looking at lips moving or not on all these little boxes. Um, pick the numbers, or mine, whatever you want to do. Shake the sticks, read the tea leaves, light the wicks, point the finger, pass the buck. Blame it all on Lady Luck. Victor or volunteer. she thinks of herself as a victim of a love it's a hymn start again he thinks of himself as a victim of a love he's not he's a volunteer he has
has consistently fallen for all the wrong women year after year after year. And now he blames anyone he thinks has used him emotionally or mentally abused him. He thinks he's a working victim, but he's not. He's a volunteer. Now she thinks of herself as a victim of circumstance when she just volunteers. She has placed her life in the hands of any man fool enough to come near. And now she blames any man who's ever kissed her, told her that he loved her, later dismissed her. She thinks she's a walking victim, but she's not. She's a volunteer. Chorus. Pick the number. Read the tea leaves, light the wicks. I'll point the finger, past the buck. Blame it all on Lady Luck. Now he thinks of himself as a victim of fate. When he just volunteers, he has invested his money in well-read astrologists, healers, psychic seers. And now he blames every tilted constellation for every negative vibration. He's not a victim of UFO infestation, he's a volunteer. Of course. Pick the number, shake the sticks. Read the tea leaves, light the wicks. I'll point the finger, pass the buck. Blame it all on Lady Luck. Do you think of yourself as a victim? Or do you volunteer? Do you let someone else call all of your shots? Do you cower in the corner in fear? you follow because it's easy to do to you fool with modern high-tech voodoo too bad if you're a victim but whatever you do don't you volunteer do you follow because it's easy to do to you fool with modern high-tech voodoo too bad if you're a victim but whatever you do don't you volunteer please don't volunteer don't you volunteer? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so so let's uh, head northwards and head for Fred up in Oldham. Uh, thank you, Fred. One from you. Uh, and then Rosie and I will will go, and then we'll have Mark. Okay. All right. Let's try something. Lady, lady, lady. Seems like I'm falling through feathers and snow. There's only one thing that I'm anxious to know. Will you give me your hand? Will you give me your heart? Will you take my caress? Will you say you'll be mine? Will you give me a sign? You only say yes. Lady, your essence is beauty. Profile so neat and so fine. Your eyes hold my gaze till I'm lost in a day. And the feeling sublime when your hand touches mine. Every word that you say sends a chill down my spine. Will you give me your hand? Will you give me your heart? Will you take my caress? Will you say you'll be mine? Say yes. Lady, the moment is fleeting. Don't 
heralds the break of the day. The stars in the sky seem to shimmer and fly, and we can't and we can't help but stay. Though time hastens away, I'm waiting on tiptoe to hear what you say. Give me your hand, will you give me your heart? Will you take my caress? Will you say you'll be mine? Will you give me a sign? You only say yes. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fred. All I need to do now is uh, find uh, a capo and we'll play a song. Can you hear us okay? We audible? Oh, okay, yeah, thumbs up. Okay, this is, uh, this is a song by Tom Waits. Davenports and kettle drums and swallow tail coats, tablecloths and patent leather shoes, bathing suits and bowling balls and clarinets and rings. And all this radio really needs is a few. A tinker, a tailor, a soldier's things, his rifle, his boots full of rocks. Oh, and this one is for bravery, and this one is for me, and everything's a dollar in this box. Cufflinks and hubcaps, trophies and paperbacks. It's good transportation, but the brakes aren't so hard. Necktie and boxing gloves, this jackknife is rusted. You can pound that dent out on the hood. Tinker, a tailor, a soldier's things, his rifle, his boots full of rocks. Oh, and this one is for bravery, this one is for me, and everything's a dollar in this box. This, this is a song uh, from Pulp Fiction, that uh, well-known light-hearted feature film. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, we don't seem to play for a while, so... My heart is empty Your eyes a dull once we were hungry now we are full these ties that bind us can't beat these chains if love is shelter 
gonna walk in the rain You were my angel Now you are real So like a stranger Colder than steel The morning after You know what you brag If love is a red dress Well hang me in rags If we played even, I'd be your queen, but someone was cheating, and it wasn't me. I've laid it on the table, you held something back. If love is aces, give me the jack. We should credit Maria McKee rather than Quentin Tarantino. For the song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's it's Mark Ashworth time. So hey, almost exactly on the dot. dot. Oh, well done. Right. Uh, so thank you very much, Mark, for agreeing to do a, uh, a slot for us. Looking forward to this. Uh, we've heard uh, your songs uh, for a while at MBAC from other people singing them, and occasionally you. It's been good to have you along to the Zoom sessions. Uh, so uh, looking forward to a full help in this evening. Over to you, Mark. Thank you very much, Alan. So, uh, good evening, uh, all. Good evening, Marlow, and uh, everyone uh, else around. Um, thanks uh, to Alan for inviting me to uh, do a little slot. Uh, I'm going to sing a selection of my songs, and I'm going to try not to talk very much at all in between them. Uh, so uh, I, won't, I won't try to justify the songs, and I'll just sing them. So this is a bit of seaside fun to start.
Thank you for those appreciative noises. Um, I can't actually see the screen from uh, where I'm playing, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm hoping that uh, you're all smiling and laughing and uh, joining in. Uh, anyway, I said I wasn't going to talk. I'll try not to. Um, quick swap to the uh, bazooki. Right, and uh, this um, is a song uh, inspired by uh, the salvage trade on the uh, Lingshire coast a long time ago. So it's called Hearts of Oak Run Aground. I 
I've seen old sailors washed up on keys. set list no yes I remember okay um, so again uh, trying to follow my resolution not to talk too much uh, this is um, this is a song about uh, something I won't be doing tonight which is singing someone else's songs it's called someone else's songs
just retuning. Well, I think we're close. Um, okay. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, this is... Um, I have two songs uh, inspired by Fairgrounds. Uh, this is the other one. Um, inspired by uh, visiting Carter Steam Fair many years ago, um, at the time when they also had the uh, Wall of Death there, which is a, a fascinating uh, show, something that I uh, never really got over seeing. So this is called Painted Horses. Uh, 
That's always good. Uh, ah, right. And um, back on the bazooki. Uh, hope it's still in tune. Um, sang a song uh, inspired by Lincolnshire earlier. Um, this one's um, this part of my. Uh, well, when you're born in Essex and uh, live your life in Berkshire, you have to go looking elsewhere to uh, find any kind of uh, heritage or roots. So uh, this is um, cultural appropriation uh, uh, from Sheffield. Uh, so yeah, this is. Um, Song about Sheffield grinders, uh, people making cutlery and all kinds of stuff uh, some time ago. to my daughter who's watching in Sheffield and uh, especially to uh, Dizzy, the cat. So uh, what's next on the list? Um, and how are we doing, uh, Alan? Well, we're, we're doing fine, Mark. You got time for uh, at least two more, I would say. Okay. Two is certainly good. Right. Um, Right, uh, yeah, this is um, a 
relatively recent one in the uh, sort of glacial ages of my songwriting. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, um, what's it about? Floods, really, but uh, probably uh, about all kinds of disasters and uh, how uh, not everybody suffers equally. That's the closest I'm going to get to politics this evening, I'm sure. That's why I'm not talking. may very well be my last then, uh, depending on what Alan says. So if it is, uh, I'll just say thank you for listening, if you've been listening. And uh, if you haven't, then thank you for not uh, not intervening. Right. And this is um, 
This has got a lovely sing-along chorus, um, but make sure you're on mute. Um, probably a kind of manifesto or something. Anyway, it's called uh, Rolling of the Dice. Consensus that we'd like Mark to play another song, don't we? Hey. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Can you manage that, Mark? Okay. Uh, checking down there whether it was okay. Um, okay, well, that's <laughs> fine. Thank you. Um, what have I got to prepare? Oh, well, we'll just go for the. Uh... Yeah, no, we'll go for the easy ones. Well, thank you very much uh, all for listening and uh, singing along. Singing along yeah. Um, yeah, my assistant tells me you've been singing along, so that's great. Uh, this is another sing along one. Um, so uh, do join in with the chorus. Um, thanks very much, Alan, and uh, for uh, inviting me on and uh, organising this. And uh, yeah, this is um, called Common Ground. Uh, when I wrote it, I thought it would be vaguely topical and uh, 
then fall by the wayside and uh, sadly it uh, just uh, continues to uh, give and give so <coughs> much mark that was lovely thanks for for uh for spending your time with us this evening uh, it's been su super evening thank you very much again another round of applause for mark please and uh, i thought well, i'm very glad that you did your own songs just your own songs really good for that okay That's so uh, i can't get them wrong or not <laughs> by definition right uh we had recently a world premiere uh, uh, from Fred, uh, so I've asked him to reprise his word pre world premiere uh, uh, tonight, uh, so we capture it for posterity. So we're going over to the Oldham with Fred now. You ready, Fred? Yeah. Okay, I'm just get it so that it... Uh, right. Is that visible properly? Okay, good. So, okay, we have Delaney's donkey. Delaney had a donkey everyone admired, temperamentally lazy and permanently tired. A leg at every corner, balancing its head, and a tail that let you knew which end it wanted to be fed. Riley slyly said they'd underrated it. 
Why not train it? Then he bought a rag. He rubbed it, scrubbed it, oiled and embricated it, brought it to the post. But when the starter dropped the flag, there was Riley pushing it, shoving it, shishing it, Hogan, Logan, everyone in town, lined up attacking it, shoving it and smacking it. They might as well have tried to push the town hall down. The donkey was eyeing them, openly defying them, winking, blinking, shifting out of place. Riley reversing it, everybody cursing it. The day Delaney's donkey ran the half mile race. The muscles of the mighty, never known to flinch, couldn't shift the donkey a quarter of an inch. Delaney was exhausted, hanging round his throat with his grip, just like a Scotsman on a twenty shilling note. Carter Starter lined up all the rest of them. When it saw them, it was willing then. It raced up, raced up, ready for the best of them. They started off to cheer it, but it's changed its mind again. And there was Riley pushing it, shoving it, shushing it. Hogan, Logan, Mary Ann McGraw. She started poking it, grabbing it and choking it. It kicked her in the bustle and it laughed hee haw. The Whigs and Conservatives, the Radical Preservatives, every politician in the whole blame place stood there in unity, uniting the community. The day Delaney's donkey ran the half mile race. The crowd began to cheer when Rafferty, the judge, came up to assist them, but still it wouldn't budge. The jockey for the donkey, little John McGee, was so thoroughly disgusted he went home and had his tea. Hagen, Fagan, students of psychology, swore they'd shift it with some dynamite. They bought it, brought it, and without apology, the donkey gave a sneeze and blew the damn stuff out of sight. And there was Riley pushing it, shoving it, shushing it. Hogan, Logan, all the bally crew. Yep. Ah. The police and auxiliary, the garrison artillery, the second and skillings and the lifeguards too. Ah. They chivied it, they harried it, they picked it up and carried it, cheered it, steered it into winning place. The bookies all drew aside and committed suicide. But hey, Delaney's donkey won the half mile race. And here's a few extra pictures just to finish the whole thing. The police success investigating. The lifeguards having some fun on the beach. The uh, Hagen and Fagan getting spotted by the fuzz. And a wee bit of a session going on. Hey. Oh, thank you. Excellent. Now, Fred, how many lockdown hours did that take? Uh, that took, I think, at least two months. No more. more. Two and a half. Two and a half months. Even though you've been doing it all the way through lockdown, like yeah. since about April. Uh, you have. Yeah. 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 Three months. Anyway, great stuff. Thank you very much, Fred. Right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the stream. So thank you everybody who's uh, watched and listened to to Marlow Boston Acoustic Club tonight. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll be back back again one day. We're not sure when on YouTube. Uh, but we're uh, on Zoom every Wednesday evening. So thanks a lot.